Good morning y'all, it is Max with My Kind of Eats and we have just landed in Yogi Akarta. Came in from Bali yesterday and we are wasting no time. We are going with my buddy Andre today. Andre is a food blogger that he is the person people will look to for the best eats here in Jogja. So today we're gonna go around. He's gonna show me must eats in Jogja. He's gonna show me these iconic places that have just been around for years and years. He's gonna show me a lot of street food. I'm so excited because y'all are coming with us and I cannot wait. Let's get it started. What's up, buddy? What's going on, buddy? All right, we're here with Andre, and we're headed to the first spot. We're super excited today, but Andre, go ahead and hit him with your Instagram. Uh, Makan Kliling, my Instagram. All right, well, check his out his Instagram. I'm telling you, he is the person you've got to check out for eats here in Jogja. So on the way here, Andre told me the story behind this dish. Apparently students got bored with just plain fried chicken, so they ended up smashing it with a bunch of smashed chilies on top, and ever since then, it has been loved. So what you do, you come in here and you actually fill up your plate how you want it, and they'll charge you for how you pick it up. So you get to pick the number of chilies, you get to pick how much chicken you want, and what other little things you want to go with it. Okay, she crushed those chilies, hit me in my face, made my eyes water. What I did is I got mine with a little shrimp paste and tomato. And then after she crushes all that up, you see her, she adds in the chicken, the tempeh, and egg, which I got with it. Oh, I've got an absolute feast of just chilies, fried chicken, egg, and tempeh here. Oh, you see his popular little stall here. People are rolling in now, just piling up their plates. Got to have three people crushing everything at once. So this almost looks a little curryish to me, but Andre is telling me it's nice and sweet, which is going to just be that perfect counterbalance with this and his chilies and chicken and egg and this whole mixture over here. Not going to waste any time. I'm going to dig in. Get some right here on top of my rice and go in for a massive bite to start us off. Mm. I'm telling you the flavor from those chilies are everything. So glad I got as many as I did because they're nice and spicy, but just the sweetness and natural flavors coming from those chilies is fabulous. It mixes with that fried chicken, so you get that greasiness. You get that nice, lean, juicy meat. Oh, that is absolutely wonderful. Okay, I want to get a little more egg in this pie. So you're getting that sweet heat, a little bit oily, meaty, greasy, a little bit of crunch from the fried chicken. Oh yeah. Mm. Wow, that sweetness really pulls back on that heat and the greasiness, but then you get a lot of these Indonesian spices soak into this curry as well, so it's even more depth of flavor. Hmm. Oh, now that was just some good fried chicken, but it's just amazing how smashing and grinding ingredients together can enhance the flavor so much. Getting those aromatics and the oils coming out, oh, it was phenomenal. It's got me fired up to eat some more meals here in Jogja. All right, at the next location for Pimpek, which I do believe is like a fish cave made with tapioca. This place has been open since 1984, and uh, you know, by all the bites, I'm gonna guess it's pretty packed. All right, so this place is extremely popular. We've got a huge wait. There's about 20 people in front of us, but we're gonna wait it out. We got a ton of fish cakes. 
selam kulit lenjer bulat otak-otak kapal selam is bulat all right it is all out here we got five fried up fish cakes all different kinds so different shapes different fillings I have no clue what's going on here. I'm just gonna have to bite in and figure out which one's which. They are making their own sauces here. They have a spicy sauce and then they have like a little sweet and sour sauce as well. All right, first of all, I'm gonna start off with this salam and that one's gonna be the one with the egg in it. So I'm gonna break this open and show y'all the egg. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Just a nice hard boiled egg in here. I'm gonna have to go hands in. Oh, piping hot right here, y'all, but check it out. Got the egg in here, nice and hard boiled. Get this in some sauce. Mm. Oh. oh, the coating is so nice. It's actually really, really salty, which brings out that fish cake flavor. It's got a little crunch to it. It's not really spongy, chewy at all. I mean, it really is soft. And then you get that hard boiled egg, so you get that nice little extra layer of creaminess. Okay, I think I know exactly where I gotta go next. Get the one with the coconut milk, cause I'm just a coconut milk fanatic. Oh yeah. Check this out, that is beautiful right there. That one's so much more fish cakey. Like I said, you get more of the fish cake, so you get more of it just fall apart, tender. Not as much of a crunch on the outside, but you do get that nice fried outside layer. And coconut milk sweetness starts to creep up towards the end of it. Oh yeah. Yes. Just following orders, gonna cleanse the palate, get that cucumber in that sauce. The sauces were this place set. Don't get me wrong, they're good fish cakes and they know it, but they're homemade sauces. That's what I would come back here for. But apparently you get in here with the sauce, the cucumber, and the fish cake all together for a massive money buy. That is where it's at. That is Money Bite 101. I don't know which fish cake that was, but it was extremely chewy and doughy that time. Y'all know I'm just an egg fanatic. There's just something about adding an egg to something. Just takes it to another level. All right, that was a great little snack. But I think we're gonna switch gears a little bit and go for something a little sweet now. Let's head that way. Get here and get some ice cream. About to walk up and check it out. Oh, so you see what they got there? It's almost like a little fruit mixture put in like a peanut sauce and then topping it with the ice cream. So and the flavor of the ice cream is actually dragon fruit. You can see that beautiful like pinkish purple just going straight through the ice cream. All right, now we're not gonna wait any longer. We don't want this to melt. Yes. All right, here we go. Oh, that is a beautiful dessert. The way you get the texture from all the minced fruit, you get that little peanut sweet sauce, and then you get the ice cream, which is not a creamy ice cream, it's just pure icy, cool you down, and then all the fruity flavors. Oh, that is beautiful. But Andre already knows me, gave me some extra sambal to pour on top of this, get some sambal, get a little extra flavor going on here. <laughs> Oh, and there's that kick from that sambal. Oh, y'all, I never thought I'd have sambal with my dessert. Welcome to Indonesia, but that is delicious. You get that sweet, that heat. This is so crazy to me. I don't know how this is working with ice cream, you know, the peanut sauce, the sambal, but wow, it is awesome. Oh, I had just enough sambal. I can feel the heat on my lips and in my mouth, but I just had ice cream too, so I feel like my body is cooling down in temperature. So strange, it's kind of crazy. All right, so we're at a temporary market for somebody doing some unbelievable fried noodles and soup noodles. I mean, he's already got a queue of 30 people and hasn't opened yet. Oh. 
all he to do is spices in there. I mean, they just attack your face. So fragrant. And he's using that huge, beautiful duck egg and then this broth. If you look in here, look how thick and rich and flavor packed this looks. Check this out, you're getting a double noodle action, you're getting a rice noodle and a flour noodle, and apparently they are making them fresh 10 kilos a day. What a master with the noodles, moving everything, moving the walk, moving the spatula just perfectly, almost like this is a choreographed dance. Oh, look at this, got the rice noodle and the flour noodle in here. I don't wanna waste any time. The egg is just acting like a binder with everything. It's so thick. Get a little bit of the free range chicken here. Going for a massive first bite, not playing any games. That is just unbelievable. The texture from both style of noodles. Not only is it a rice noodle and flour noodle, but they're different sizes, so you get different mouthfeels. You get that broth. It's light, but yet it's still thick and creamy because he busted that duck egg in there. Oh wow, this is phenomenal. Mm, that is gold. That is a magic broth, y'all. I'm telling you, that duck egg is doing beautiful things, just holding it together, giving it this, this luxuriousness, this creaminess. Mm. But y'all know we didn't just come and get one noodle. We have both the special. He's got the fried and the soup noodle. Let's try out the fried now. Mm. Oh. The winner is the double noodles, y'all. I'm telling you, you know, I'm usually a double sauce guy, but I'm feeling the double noodles tonight. Just the texture you get from one being smaller, one being bigger, one being a rice noodle, one being a flour noodle. You're getting that taste, you're getting that texture, you get the smokiness with that. You get more of the peanut satay sauce flavor with this, but I think it needs just a little bit more sauce. Oh yeah, this is looking sauce approved now. And don't think I forgot my chili. Just thick, sweet, creamy sauce on top of these high, smoky, peanutty noodles. Y'all. Oh. I'm telling you, you get it sauced up and it just takes it to another level. Unreal. I also check it out. This salt's been here since 1952, and he took it after his dad has been running since 1988. I'm telling y'all, he is a noodle master. Y'all, I'm almost sad to leave that stall. I could just hang out there all night, but I guess we gotta do it. So now we're headed to finish it off with some satay. All right, and we are here at the last place from satay. I mean, people are just lined up and it is packed in here. I better get my spot in line. Also doing pure goat here. You got a couple different types of goat you can get here, but they are specialized in the goat satay. Tong sang kicik daging. Ini enggak enggak racun toh. Iya. Luru luru. All right, so we got the tongseng and the kiti to go along with our goat satay. The first one is actually a goat liver cooked in broth, and the other one is just a stewed up goat meat. I cannot wait. It says super fragrant, and I've not had goat in a long time, so I'm excited to dig in. Okay, so apparently the satay here is like called poor man's satay because the only thing they're using to season it with is salt. So it's just gonna be pure quality goat meat and salt. Oh, oh 
with just a huge kick of salt, which is helping that goat flavor just explode. I mean, it's so intense. That goat meat just tastes so high quality. And then they get that char on it. I mean, it is just salty, pure goat meat and char. Oh, wow. Oh. Now we'll start with the tong sang, which is actually the goat liver cooked down in that goat broth. Mm. Oh, that goat liver is just so creamy. And then you do, you get those Indonesian spices, you get that little peanutiness, and then you get just a little bit of saltiness from it. But I mean, that main factor in that is just a pure goat flavor and that goat liver being high quality, nothing to really overpower it. Last but not least, the kitchik, which is just a stewed goat meat. And I mean, you can actually see the chilies hanging out on this one, so I got a feeling this is gonna be pretty good. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh, there's nothing wrong with that. That is just fatty, chewy, tender goat meat that just coats your mouth and your lips, but done with a lot of chilies, so you get that heat. Oh, and we got a last addition to the party. We got the satay, but they take it, take it off the skewer, and then fry it in oil. Mm. You don't get near as much of an intense char flavor, but instead what you do is get the crunchy, oily outside. That is much more decadent. Pulls back on the saltiness too. That's just a little bit greasier, but y'all know me. I'm all about that pure OG style on the grill. Get that char is where it's at. Nothing new, but enjoy these dishes until there's nothing left. Mm. All right, y'all, and that is gonna do it. Absolutely stuffed. Andre hooked me up today and just showed me some unbelievably delicious local eats. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I got some good news, though. We had such a great time today. We are gonna meet up again tomorrow to bring y'all another video, so make sure to look out for it. Y'all, it's the Max My Kind of Eats. I'll see y'all at the next video.